these haters, man. Hold up. <laughs> Woo! Two and one, baby! I love this part. I love this part. Ready? Ready? Ah, damn, that shit pumps me up, man. Fucking love that song. Anyways, 2-1. and one. <clears throat> The Oakland Raiders, 2-1 and one right now, man. It feels really good. We started off the year 2-1 and one last year. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we start off the, the fucking year 2-1 and one this year. Uh, you know, it makes that fucking Atlanta Falcons game even hurt even more. Because really, we should be 3-0. and oh. If we would have made these defensive adjustments just a game earlier, that fucking game would have been a lot more competitive. We might have came out with a W. But you know what? We took that L. But we took this W this weekend, man. And this game went exactly the way I thought it was going to go. Just a slow, grinding, running, defensive-based, fucking ugly-ass offensive game. It really wasn't that fun to watch for most of the fucking game until the end. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Amari Cooper. Let me talk to you real quick, bro. You need to catch that fucking ball on a slant route, right? To end the fucking game. You're one of my favorite players in the NFL, bro. I, I fucking love you, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm wearing your shit right now. But you have to fucking come up with that fucking catch because we didn't have to have all this drama at the end of this game. We didn't have we did not have to depend on the Tennessee Titans making a bunch of dumb mistakes at the end of this game to win. We could have put it away right there if you just hold on to the ball. A ball that was thrown directly between the eight and the nine on your fucking jersey. Catch that rock, bro. Let's fucking score another touchdown and put the goddamn game away. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, the defense showed up. Great adjustments, man. Shout out to Angry Raider. Shout out to fucking Watts Raider. You guys made some uh, videos, some great videos about, you know, the defensive adjustments that the Raiders needed to do. And it, and it sounds like the fucking coaching staff listened to you guys because we came out, we made those adjustments. Carl Joseph came into the game. We dropped that safety down to that linebacker level to help with the run game. You know what I'm saying? Our pursuit was still a little bit off. Our, our gaps were still a little bit off, but it's getting a lot better, bro. Um, we had a lot more speed, you know what I'm saying? We had a lot more pursuit to the ball, and that's what I like to see, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we got a little bit more pressure on the quarterback. Khalil Mack still not getting home, but I got faith in the guy. He will get his tackles. He will get his sacks. Don't worry about him, man. He's, he was a slow starter last year, and he still ended up with 15 sacks. It will come around, um, but it looks a lot better for right now, man. So I like it, you know what I'm saying? The, the, with the Tennessee tits, bro, they're just... You know, we got to take it with a grain of salt because, honestly, they're not a fucking good offense. They're they're really one-dimensional. It's like I said in my hate week. They don't have a lot of fast players. They don't have a lot of explosive guys. They have that one wide receiver, Tajay Sharp. I think he's a rookie. He has a promising future, but everybody else is just kind of average, you know what I'm saying? So we were able to to really do what we wanted to do as far as coverage went. Shout-out to David Amerson. Shout-out to Reggie Nelson. Sean Smith got himself a pick. But it's the adjustments that we made that were really the difference in this game. Um, you know, and Marcus Mariota is just not that guy yet, bro. He turns the ball over too much. He fumbles almost every single game. Like I said in my hate week, man, he's just turnover prone. And he's he, he's not really matured to that point yet, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's what makes Derek Carr so valuable to me, man. So valuable to this team, bro, because he is a real fucking quarterback. I don't know why people keep on hating on this guy, sleeping on this guy, whatever you want to call it, man. There's still people out there that think Blake Bortles is a better quarterback. They still think Jameis Winston is a better quarterback. Like, come on, bro. Like, are you serious? You know what I'm saying? Derek Carr is a fucking great young quarterback, great decision-making, and he can make every throw in the fucking book, man. Anything he wants to do out there, as long as he has protection, he can make it happen. Shout-out to Mike Tice, the offensive fucking line coach for the... Uh, uh, Oakland Raiders, man, he's got everybody playing top-notch offensive line right now. It doesn't matter who we got coming in. Right now, we have Vidal Alexander playing right tackle for us. And still, we're not missing a fucking beat. You know what I'm saying? Men Menelik Watson goes down again. I mean, the dude is just injury-prone. You know, he's a good player, but he can't stay on the field for some reason. You know, it's, certain players are just like that. And Menelik Watson is that kind of guy. But as long as Mike Tice keeps on coaching these guys up, I'm not worried about our old line. We're going to be good all season long. You know what I'm saying? And Derek Carr is just not going to get dropped too many times. You know, it's just the way it is. But uh, the adjustments are really what the difference was in this game. It could have been a lot uglier for the Tennessee Titans, man. If we could have came out offensively a little bit sharper, um, if, you know, if, if our receivers were catching balls, 
we would have scored 20 plus points. You know what I'm saying? You know, we had that touchdown to Clive Walford that got called back. Just little things like that, bro. We got to get better at those kind of things. We're still going through our growing pains too. You know what I'm saying? But we're 2-0 and on the road, which is impressive. And we got another winnable game. A really winnable game coming up. The Baltimore Ravens are 3-0, and but they're not that good, bro. You know, Derek Carr is one of the, you know, better quarterbacks that they're going to see all year. Our offense is probably the best that they've faced all season long. I mean, they barely squeak by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville Jaguars are horrible. You know what I'm saying? 0-3. So, um, I, I got all the confidence in the world that we can we can beat this team. We know what Steve Smith Sr. is going to do. He's going to come out and talk a lot of shit, but he's going to catch six passes for 80 yards and... That's it. You know what I'm saying? The Baltimore Ravens, their best player is their fucking kicker, Justin Tucker. You know, I'm not scared of Joe Flacco. I'm not scared of their defense. I'm not scared of any of that shit, man. I don't think I don't think we got we're gonna have a problem winning this game, man. We're just a better team than the Baltimore Ravens. We just are. You know what I'm saying? And people need to figure this shit out. Once our defense starts playing decently, if we can get to that range of like ranked between fifteen and eighteen in the in the in the league on defense, if we can get to that average the average level, that's all we need. Our offense is going to win us a lot of games. You know what I'm saying? As long as we keep Derek Carr upright, we keep him healthy, we're going to have a chance this year. Because you look at the AFC West, it's like I keep on saying, man, the toughest division in fucking football. The San Diego Chargers, or the, should I say the San Diego Chokers, choke away another game on the road. But they could have won that one very easily. They're a scrappy team. You know, the Kansas City Chiefs, I did not see that happening against the Jets. They fucking pick off Ryan Fitzpatrick six fucking times. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, had, I thought I, they had a chance to win that game, but I didn't think it was going to be a dominant-ass performance like that. And the Denver Broncos, right now, they're not losing. You know what I'm saying? They're fucking Trevor Simeon all of a sudden can throw all over the field. I don't even know where that shit came from. I don't think Denver Bronco fans knew where that shit came from. You know what I'm saying? But now we got to worry about that. But we can't depend on these other teams to lose games and to help us out. We got to go out there and we got to handle our own business. We have to win these winnable games that are on the road. Right now we're 2-0 and on the road. We have to go 3-0. and We cannot afford to drop a fucking game to the Baltimore Ravens. This happened last year. We started off 2-1 and and then we gave up a game to somebody. I don't know. And then all of a sudden we were 2-2 and and shit started getting shaky. You know what I'm saying? We can't have that. I don't want that kind of energy for this team this season, man. We're more mature. We're sharper. We're... We, we know how to fucking play on the road, man. And as long as we come out and don't beat ourselves, we will win. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody in the Raider Nation. Shout out to the RWA. Let's get this motherfucking win on Sunday, man, and go 3-1 and one and handle this fucking business. It's Maddie on a mission. RWA all day. And when I speak, you listen. Biatch!